Hey guys, Cutter Up Rob here. Uh, sorry I haven't posted a video in a couple weeks. Um, kind of, I hurt my back trying to actually hold up that cylinder head right there. <laughs> fell over, and I thought it'd be a good idea to grab it, and it wasn't a good idea. But anyways, uh, back to the video content here. Um, so I got a Cummins block in the the hone here, and. Lots of people are asking about torque plate and why I use torque plate. So I thought I would just demonstrate. Um, so basically a torque plate, um, we have a bunch of them, but so this torque plate, when you bolt this on, it imitates the load of the head on the block. Um, and what happens is, is that the, where the head bolts are in here, where they come close to the edge of the block, it actually distorts the cylinder when you torque it down. So this happens whether you're using A or P fasteners, you're using stock bolts. Um, you know, you have to, especially with Cummins stuff, it does make a difference. So what we'll do is I, I still have this torqued on here. Um, we just finished honing it, but what I'll do here is I'll show you guys. So you put it in here. And you can see we're at zero. At zero. And you go right where that bolt is. Still zero. Right where that bolt is. And you're zero. Just to show you guys. And then if you go right in the middle, like where there is no bolts. I get my hand in the right spot here. It's incredibly hard to run. Even when you're used to running this stuff and trying to hold the camera and talking, all kinds of stuff on the go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to untorque these. Um, and then for this, is this was just a stock engine, just getting regular head bolts. So um, we just use these fasteners um, and we torque them at 100 foot pounds. When you're doing high performance stuff, we, we do, we torque them, we use short ARP studs that we have um, so that you can imitate the load better because the more torque you put out, the more it distorts it. But So now that I got that loosened off, now if you take the bore gauge, <clears throat> and you do the same thing, you can actually see where that cylinder is moved. I didn't touch the dial bore gauge, I didn't cut the video there or anything. And now it's not at zero anymore. So that's how much the cylinder distorts just with these being torqued. So, you know, you want to, you know, you go into a machine shop, whether it's us, you know, it doesn't matter what machine shop. Um, if you're having a Cummins done, you want to have a torque plate on it because um, it does make a difference. So it's basically like, you know, looking at it is you're, Top of the cylinder is where it does it. The very first, let's say, inch and a half to two inches. So where a lot of your initial combustion is happening, the cylinder, if it's not done like this, when you torque it down, now it turns it out around. So you're losing all kinds of compression. You get premature wear, all kinds of stuff. So that's just a rundown. And you know, like doing torque plates on uh, small block Chevys, LS stuff, you know, like all that type of stuff. We do it on all that stuff. If I don't have a torque plate, um, I do have a few guys around that, you know, other machine shops that'll lend us and then we do the same thing. Um, you know, if, if somebody really wants one and I don't, I can't have access one, um, you know, I'll, I'll go as far as buying one because like, I honestly, that's how much, you know, I'll spend $300 to do a $300 job to make sure that we're doing it right for the guy. 
um, you know, and it is what it is. You know, if you, you do a bunch of them, then the plate pays for itself. Um, you know, I got a couple plates here. I've only ever used a couple times. So, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, but it's just a short video for on that stuff. Um, but I, just, I wanted to post it up. Uh, I'll probably do it in, you know, a couple other things to um, show some stuff that hasn't been uh, bored yet. So I can show you guys taper and, and that in wear and stuff. Um, so you guys understand, you know, you take it to a machine shop and they say, oh, well, you know, there's, you know, your stuff's out of taper or your taper is too much. Um, you're out of spec. What they're actually showing you. Um, cause I know lots of guys are like, oh, well, you know, I just want to, I just want a, a cheap engine. Well, you know, you put it together and it's cheap. Well, sometimes you put it together and it's cheap and it doesn't last. Um, you know, I'm, I understand, you know, everybody wants to put stuff together and not cost a lot of money, um, do the best they can. But you know, if you spend a couple hundred dollars more, usually it's well worth the time in my eyes anyway. Um, so, uh, that's going to wrap up the video. Um, if you have anything that you want us to do, um, you know, give us a comment down in the, in the comment box. Um, you know, stuff you want to see, um, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.